And the first thing we're going to do, we already put the new bushing, new seal. Now we're going to install the retainer. And this retainer is for the seal won't pop out. So you won't have a front seal blowout. We're going to lubricate the pump bushing. Now we're going to install the, the pivot, the slide pivot. It takes a little spring first. Now we get our slide. We put a little bit of assembly lube here. Install the new o-ring that goes in between here and then we install the sealing ring or the seal and what the o-ring does it just creates a uh, like a spring type action on this seal to seal the bottom of the slide now we go ahead and sit the slide down and we get these two little items here Hope I don't, it don't fall off. It's a little round piece of rubber with a Teflon uh, little uh, washer here or a slide. And again, the rubber deal acts as a spring for the Teflon slider uh, to create a great seal, a real good seal. And now we install our pivot, our pivot pin. get it in the bore. Actually I, I compress this so I can have enough room to get it in there. Now we tap it in. And the way this works, the green Teflon uh, washer, it's, it actually acts as a washer or as a slide for the slide to go to the low volume and the high volume position. And then you have your uh, pivot there. And that's the way it goes. Now this has been a 06 model, it has a single uh, spring, the early models 04 and down, I believe it was 05 or 04 and down it has a double spring. It's a little bit stiff, so you got to be careful when you're installing it. There's a special tool for it, but I'm going to go ahead and just use my screwdriver and get it in here. Okay. So now that we got that taken care of, I use this little uh, 1460 uh, reverse reaction drum as a uh, as a tool. Now we're going to put our uh, they call this a snowflake, but it's a rotor uh, guide that uh, actually centers the the rotor. That's why you have this little step here and this actually uh, centers it. So we install this uh, rotor guide inside the rotor, on the rear of the rotor. We get one of these rings, expander rings, drop it in there, and then drop in our rotor. And now we're going to install uh, 13 vanes, little squares. We already have one expander ring on the bottom. The rotor guide. Sometimes you find out that the uh, converter uh, went out and uh, got severely hot that that rotor guide melts. All these items are available separately. These little veins are available on their own. The guide is available on their own. And they also have a pump kit complete with the slide. Now we install the top one. Now we're going to set this to the side because we're going to go ahead and assemble uh, the valves that go in, in the uh, pump cover. That's our pump body where the pump rotor goes. And this is actually our pump cover. The pump body goes to the outside of the transmission and the pump cover goes towards the inside 
of the transmission. Okay, so now we're going to install our torque converter clutch apply valve and our spring. This is a little different from the earlier models. On the earlier models, uh, the valve looked a little different, and you had two uh, ends that looked alike, and you had two springs, double springs. This valve changed, it now has a pocket, and the spring goes inside the pocket. I like this stuff. It works really, really good. Now we drop the TCC apply valve in the bore. Normal little washer like you see on the early models. This did not change. And of course, your uh, snap ring. Get our snap ring pliers in here. A very small snap ring. Get this thing in the groove. There we go. We got it in the groove. And here you have the, the bleed hole. It's bleeding off all the time. And the solenoid is normally open. When the solenoid energizes, it blocks the fluid flow. It strokes the valve. And you have torque converter clutch applied. Now we're going to install this uh, screen here. Don't forget that, otherwise you're gonna have most of the pressure build up from here is gonna dump out from the rotor. Now we're going to install our pressure regulator valve. A little bit of lube. You can use whatever lube you want WD-40 works well. I don't get too technical with that. It works perfect for me, and that's what I use. Now we install our boost valve, and I don't have nothing uh, assembly loop on the boost valve to hold it, so uh, I'm gonna use a little pressure like this. I'm gonna get my uh, snap ring on my pliers. We're gonna go in sideways like this. And the pump did, did actually change in this year. This pump is a little different than the early, early model. Always like to hit the boost valve like this, just to make sure that the snapping is not going to pop out. So here we have it. Boost valve, uh, pressure regulator valve, spring, the TCC uh, ply valve, and of course the bushings. You remember that? We installed these bushings. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, install it on our uh, pump cover. Put it in there. Get five bolts. We're going to get our pump alignment tool to align it, align both halves, otherwise they're, you're going to have a lot of trouble uh, trying to install it in the case on the transmission. Just make sure that your holes are aligned. Okay, there we go. We are aligned. Tighten up your band. You can use a big uh, clamp, a hose clamp, if you have a big clamp that'll uh, work here. That's just a screwdriver. That little impact there. It's not even an impact. It's just a screwdriver. He doesn't tighten up the bolt, so don't trust that. Just torque him. Torque all your five holes. Five holes. Okay, now we put our pump washer.
Put a dab of assembly loop to hold it in place. Okay, I already tried to resize these rings. I hope we don't have an issue with the new bushing. Sometimes you have to resize them a couple of times, these rings, because the pump will not slide down and you don't want to rip those rings. Only one pair comes in the kit, but you can also get them separate. You can also install 700 R4 uh, ceiling rings. They're blue in color, and they're not resizable. They're the ones that uh, they're already pre-cut. They work. They work good. Just in case you rip them, you can have some extra. And we're hoping that we don't need that. Not today. Not today, at least. So there we have it, our pump, 4L60E pump, already assembled.